Hello everyone and welcome to Makeup Mayhem Day 10. So today we will be doing this makeup look tutorial. I am calling this my Pink Lemonade Barbie-esque makeup look. It is pairing a pretty bright pink eye with a bright pink lip and I just think it turned out so, so well. I'm gonna be using a couple of the products that I talked about in my Ulta haul last video, testing them out with you. So if you're interested in seeing how to get this makeup look, please keep watching. Okay, I am all barefaced and ready for our makeup routine. I'm so excited for this. This is gonna be my first time putting it together, but I think it's gonna turn out really, really cute. So I have already prepped my skin, done all of my skincare, I'm just gonna clip my hair back and we are all ready to go. So I'm not going to prime, I don't think. I think I'm just gonna go straight in with my L'Oreal True Match Hyaluronic Tinted Serum. I have used this for a while. I always bring it out in the summer because I love using tinted products or like a tinted serum or tinted moisturizer product in the summer. So this is the one that I'm using. I have the shade Rosy Light, which is so funny this is the shade that I use because I am definitely not a like, cool pink undertoned person, but for some reason the rosy light just works the best for me. So what I normally do is do drops on my face, but the past couple times that I've done that, I, it has dropped on my clothes and I have so many like foundation stains now from doing that. So I'm not gonna drop on my face this time. I'm just gonna do a little bit on my hand and then we'll apply it that way. I'm just gonna dot it on my face and my fingers and then we can blend it out. I'm gonna first blend out with my trusty Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. I love this thing. It's what I blend out all of my products with. It's just the best. I just love the way that this blends. It really does blend out so, so well. And this is definitely not a full coverage product but it still makes your skin look really, really nice. And then before I go in with my beauty blender, I'm just gonna take my L'Oreal, no, <laughs> go in with the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I am using this because I feel like it's the same tone as my L'Oreal True Match color. So we're just gonna take that underneath my eyes and then blend that out again with my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. And then I always have to make sure to take it on my eyelids too because I have very dark eyelids for some reason. Now I'm gonna take my beauty blender and just make sure that everything is seamless. I do just love a beauty blender and it really does make your makeup look the absolute best. I have never tried a little um, like powder puff to blend out my makeup, but I know people really love that as well. I'm just, I've always been a beauty blender girl. And while I do love to initially apply with brushes, I just feel like my makeup is not finished until I use my beauty blender. Okay, and now that our base is all done, I'm gonna go in with my new Pixi On The Glow blush. I have seen so many people talk about this and I'm so excited to try it out for myself. So basically this is a stick blush. It reminds me of a sunscreen stick and they had a couple of different options, but I went for, I think it's called Petal Pink. No, it's called Fleur, which I guess is kind of like a petal. <laughs> So we open it up like this, got a little top on it. And then I guess I'm just gonna sweep this on my cheeks, which is how I've seen other people use it. Like that. Oh, it's pretty sheer. So that actually didn't give me a whole lot. Maybe I'm gonna do a second little sweep. I really like the color so far. It's really pretty. And then I'm gonna blend that out with my Real Techniques Splash Brush. And it almost feels like a sunscreen stick. That's such an interesting texture. Okay, it's a little difficult to blend out. I'm gonna switch to my beauty blender and see if that helps it at all. Cause I feel like where I swiped it, I can still see the harsh line. I feel like I'm just such a fan of the NARS Afterglow blushes that it's hard for me to find another cream or liquid blush product that competes with it. And so I don't wanna to be too harsh on this product because I'm such an Afterglow blush fan. 
So I'm giving it a try. Okay, that was much easier to blend out with the beauty blender. I would definitely recommend going in with this because the brush was really not giving it what it needed. And I think almost the wetness of the beauty blender kind of helped it blend out as well. So actually I like it. I think it's a really pretty color. I know my camera kind of washes me out. So if you can't see it, I'm, I apologize. It's a really nice light pink color, which is perfect for this tutorial. I think I'm gonna move on to eyes and then we can do highlighter less. I'm not gonna use any bronzer for this look because I really want Want the pink to shine through I don't want it to get muddied by the bronzer so we're just gonna do blush and then I'll pop a little bit of highlighter on but for my eyes I'm gonna start out with the Mally Evercolor shadow stick extra velvet in the color moonlight this is a very pretty champagne eye crayon I'll swatch it for you it just gives a little tiny bit of shimmer to the eyes and so I'm gonna use this as my base and I'm just gonna go directly on to my eye and as you can see it just gives it a really nice light shimmery base to add our shadow on top of I am gonna go in with the LYS love yourself eyeshadow palette in the color empowered and this has some really pretty pink and purple shades. So I'm gonna start out with this light pink color just to go on top as a little bit of a powder base. Because I don't really wanna cover up the eyeshadow base that we put on with the Mally eyeshadow stick. I just want to make it pink tinted. And then I'm gonna take this little brush. I don't actually know what brand this is. It's the La Russe angled shading brush so we're going to take this and i'm going to go into this hot pink color right here it's very shimmery so i am just going to dust this on my eyelid as a little bit of extra pink pop this color is very pigmented so i only ever need one dip into the palette to cover my whole eye because it is super pigmented but we love that i'm going to go in on the other side and I'm really just concentrating it on the center of my eyelid and then kind of blending it out towards the edges. I'm gonna take this big fluffy brush and kind of blend everything out. I'm gonna dip into our base light pink shade for this eye because I put a little bit too much of the darker shade on, so we're just gonna try to even this out a little bit. there we have our eyeshadow look honestly really easy and really only using I guess two products but one eyeshadow palette and it didn't take me very long to blend everything out and there is our eyeshadow look I'm so happy with it I think it looks really pretty so I am gonna use my trusty Pacifica vegan collagen lash serum and primer I truly cannot do my mascara now without using this it just really has helped my eyelashes so much with the strength of them and I think with the way they look so we're gonna do one coat of this and then you have to wait a minute for this to dry before you go in with your mascara so I'm gonna do my eyebrows quickly same as I always do them this is probably the most boring part of my makeup routines because I do the exact same thing every time I use the Anastasia clear brow gel and I just brush through my eyebrows I just I don't like adding extra color to my eyebrows because I do have pretty thick semi dark eyebrows and I just don't need any extra color in them and then I always brush them through with an eyebrow spoolie just to make sure I don't get any clumps in the clear brow gel and now we are ready to try out the new mascara that I got this is the Pacifica vegan collagen fluffy lash mascara and I picked this up like I said in my Ulta haul because I was just so excited to try another product in this line and it is kind of funny that the packaging is almost identical but one top is blue and one top is pink and then vice versa on the bottom so we're gonna go in with this I'll show you the brush this is what the brush looks like I normally prefer a plastic brush to a bristled brush but we'll see if we like it I'm gonna go in with one coat on each side you can see the brush has a very interesting curve to it and I don't feel like the way that it's curved is <laughs> my favorite maybe because I feel like the way that it's curved the middle of my lashes are getting the most mascara and it's making them clump together a little bit okay so unfortunately I don't think I like this mascara it 
left my lashes pretty clumpy and even on the second round I just feel like I couldn't really separate them. I got a lot on my eyelid to the point where I had to almost take part of my eyeshadow off on this side and redo it and now I feel like it's a little darker than the other side. So I don't think this mascara is for me, sadly. I will give it another couple of chances, but I think it's also just a brush. I didn't do any research onto what kind of brush it was because I do normally prefer plastic brush. And this one was a bristle brush. I just saw it at Ulta and I was like, oh, I love the serums. Maybe I'll like the mascara. I don't think I do, unfortunately. Still love the serum, still such an integral part of my makeup routine, but maybe the mascara is not for me. To finish out our pink look, I'm gonna go in with the Danessa Myricks Dew Wet Balm in the shade Rose Water. So this is a highlighting face and body balm. I saw Tati Westbrook talk about this and I wanted to try it out. The shade is so beautiful and it truly looks like a lip balm. So I'm just gonna apply this like I would a normal highlighter, which I think is what you're supposed to do. A little bit on the tip of my nose and then on my cupid's bow as well. And I think I'm just gonna blend this in with my fingers. The texture is very balmy. I almost feel like I'm putting Vaseline or something on my face. But really, it blends out so nicely. I don't feel like it left a ton of actual shimmer on my face. It just kind of brought a highlight to those points where I put it on. So I actually really like that. And I think the subtle pink shimmer to it really adds to our full pink look. And then last but not least for lips, I just wiped off the foundation from my lips. And I am going to go in with the Maybelline Color Sensational Lip Liner in the color Pink Wink, the Clinique Almost Lipstick in Pink Honey, and the Sephora Lip Gloss in number seven. So these are all just a very pretty pink color. So I'm gonna start by lining my lips. This formula is very, very creamy. And while I don't think it stays on as well as a more matte lip liner, it is really nice if you feel like your lips are dry. I think it gives a little bit of extra shine and almost hides imperfections or dry lips a little better than a matte lip liner would. So when I line my lips, I actually, I line them first and then I generally go ahead and fill them in with the lip liner too, just to give it that full effect. Then I'm gonna go in with my new Clinique Pink Honey lipstick. And then top it up with our Sephora lip gloss. It's got the tiniest little wand, but it's so cute. And there we have it. I have to say, I think these colors work so well together. The Maybelline lip liner has a little bit of iridescence to it. And I, this is very, very creamy. And so just adding those two together looks so nice. And there we have it, our pink lemonade summer makeup look. I think this is so, so cute and fun for summer. I really love the pink lip with the pink eyes. I feel like it's very Barbie-esque. And yeah, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I will list all the products that I used below and the shades that I used and all of that jazz in the description. Stay tuned for our next Make It Mayhem video in a couple of days. So I will say thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.